In this video I'd like to talk about the patches. Now if you remember from one of the first videos, the patches are the little squares that form the floor on which the turtles move around in this visual area. If we draw the grid, which I'll show you how to do in a moment, uh, you will see that there are a good number of patches and we've drawn out the, uh, the borders of the patches with a little bit of, of drawing by an invisible turtle that I'll show you in, in, um, in a little while. Uh, the patches are identified by the position of their center points. The patches cannot move, but we can address all the patches together or we can address individual patches. For instance, we can ask the patch in the very center of the screen to change its color and that we patch with the location X0 uh, and Y0, we can ask it to change its color to let's say red and when we do that we see immediately that this patch over here which is at the center of the screen changes its color to red the the uh, property is not color as it is for turtles but it's p color for the patches now we can actually uh point to this and with a right mouse button uh click and we can inspect that patch and take a look at its properties. It has very few properties compared to turtles. It only has its x and y coordinates which are not changeable at all. You can't change them because the patches cannot move. It has a p color which you can change and it has a p label uh, so that you can actually attach some words to this patch. Let's say hi there and when we do that there is there there's the word hi there sort of right justified to the right edge of the patch. Now patches can do some interesting things. For instance, a patch can create a turtle on top of it. Not only the observer, but patches themselves can create turtles. And there's a special command for that called sprout. And what we can do is we can ask a particular patch, for instance, ask the patch at position X position 3 and Y position 4 to uh, create a turtle. We're going to sprout one and immediately we'll ask that turtle to set its color to let's say green. Green. And there, here's the center, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. There's a patch at X position three, Y position four, and uh, there's the turtle positioned uh, right there. Its center point is the center of that patch. Now we can change the number of patches uh, in the world using the settings button. Currently, currently we have six patches on the right side, six patches on the left side, plus a patch in the middle. So this world has 13 patches across and 13 patches down. We can change those by increasing this number for the x coordinate for this distance uh, we can make that let's say uh, 10 and now we have a 10 by 6 world and if we apply that we have a much wider world with 21 patches across and 13 patches down we draw the grid it is much wider let me show you how that grid is actually drawn uh, with the program over here uh, first we clear everything and then we ask all the patches and this is how we can actually address all the patches. We ask them all to set their uh, their background colors to blue and then we ask each one of them to create its own turtle and now every single patch will create its own turtle right on top of itself. Ask the turtle to point upward to move half a step. The width of a patch is the size of the step in this world. So th that particular turtle has moved from its center point being in the center of the turtle to its center point being uh, at the top border. We've turned it right by 90 degrees so that it now faces east. Turn its color to white, put its pen down. And finally, I want its pen down to move forward a half, right 90, forward a half, four times. It's basically drawing the border around its particular patch and then it dies and that creates our grid showing where the patches are and that's it